all right welcome back everybody it's your boy julio coming at you with another video today video we're gonna throw something different into the twist uh we're gonna do a little bit of an informative type of video uh, i'm not sure if y'all been following along or if y'all seen but pretty much i've been going through the new splinter cell or not new splinter cell old splinter cells uh and doing a playthrough of those um right now i'm waiting on the pandora tomorrow uh I actually have to order that uh, for the original Xbox and then I'm gonna play it on the Xbox one I have uh, and upload it to here up upload it to YouTube uh, so that way you know we can follow along uh, on the storyline as it should be played unfortunately you can't get Pandora tomorrow uh, on the Ubisoft store or on Steam um, there is a way to play it on PC but there's a lot of jumps you have to make in order to get it to work right uh, something with the shadows and everything but today, um, like I said, we're gonna, I'm gonna bring you an informative type of video. Uh, I don't know if you've heard or not, uh, but basically we're getting a new Splinter Cell. So that's pretty amazing. Um, and that, you know, that with that, that means more sneaking and more time away from my daughter. Dad? Sarah, hi. Where are you? On my way home. I thought you were gonna call last week. Something came up, I'm sorry. <laughs> nah, but for real though, uh, if you haven't heard or if you want to hear again, Ubisoft Toronto has green lighted a new Splinter Cell game. Uh, almost after a decade since our last Splinter Cell, Blacklist, um, that came out in 2013, and it was actually developed by the same developers, uh, Ubisoft Toronto. So that's pretty dope because Splinter, uh, Splinter Cell Blacklist was an all time high. Like, people love that game. I love the game. Um, and how they incorporated so much from it uh, was definitely one of one of the top Splinter Cells out there. Yeah, so basically what that really means is that we're getting a new game. But that's not all we're getting. Uh, we're actually getting a remake. Yeah, not a remaster, an actual remake. So you might ask yourself, what does that mean? What's a remake, Julio? A remake is pretty much a new storyline new technology new characters new elements you know new ways of killing you know from this article you're basically i'm sharing with you uh link in the description down below uh we're basically gonna go and follow along and read on our own uh pretty much the um insight of three developers um the creative director chris auntie uh the producer matt west and the technical producer Peter Hendoris. Um, so yeah, um, pretty much from the article, we basically get to see what the developers, why they fell in love with Splinter Cell, and the, you know, from the beginning, and what they plan on implementing and retaining in the remake. So without further ado, you know, let's just go ahead and uh, follow along with me. All right. So first off, we're starting off with Matt West. Uh, he was asked, "What makes a game a remake?" And in the article, he states, although we're still in the earliest stages of development, uh, what we're trying to do is make sure the spirit of the game remains intact in all the ways that gave early Splinter Cell its identity. Um, basically, from what we learned from that, that basically that quote is one, uh, they're keeping the game, you know, the game is still in early development and nothing is finalized. You know, they're still working out the kinks and uh, quirks of the game. Um, and what they want to put in it, what they don't, what they want to keep in there. Um, it sounds like they want to keep their, uh, you know, the original Splinter Cell, uh, you know, features. So that's good to hear. And then second, what we learned, uh, it's pretty much they're going to, you know, like I said, keep everything that made us fall in love with Splinter Cell, you know, from the day one, you know, since I was a little kid, you know, playing the game. And trying to get used to not running and gunning and actually have to slow and methodically plan my strategic strategy you know follow the enemy and learn their movements um so that's kind of cool um and basically just using my environment to get me through the missions and you know all right so moving on um on the article he was actually stated that they're actually going to keep it linear like the original game and not make it open world so that's amazing um i've seen a lot of open world games and to be honest i don't think you can make a stealth game that's open world i mean you could 
uh, I think Metal Gear Solid I'm not sure if I've never played the game but uh, definitely I think that's open world I'm not quite sure but the fact that they're keeping Splinter Cell lean, uh, a linear game uh, is awesome I mean I, I know they're gonna incorporate different ways of getting to the objective but that is that's just amazing that's that's the way it should be so that's good that they're keeping that uh, Matt West also went in as to far as to saying uh, as far as being able to prototype and innovate and test some stuff out uh, this is very in much keeping us redefined with stealth action uh, what it's gonna feel like in the modern audience so that's uh, definitely one aspect they are keeping in mind especially you know going into this you know you gotta kind of keep it within the same you know you gotta update it you know it's 2022 you know they, they got new technology I and then uh Continue on in the article, uh, they spoke with Chris Auntie. Auntie, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, he was asked, what aspects do you think are most important to update? And what is the core experience that needs to be preserved? He stated, and I, I like his answer, he stated, delivering an ideal uh, being a ghost. Uh, it's important for us to preserve the sense of mastery by supporting players to observe the situation, make their plan, Use their gadgets and outsmart the enemy creatively to deal with the challenges they are presented with. Ideally, they end up coming out on the other side with no one realizing you were even there. That's the essence of Splinter Cell. And I really love that answer because, you know, you can tell he's a diehard Splinter Cell. Like, they, all these people in the article basically, you know, these developers basically lived the same childhood experience I have. And they know how you know cherishing that is and they want to keep that same aspect but also bringing us new and you know more immersive experience in this Splinter Cell world um the biggest and most impressive news of the remake is basically their new snowdrop engine and all I can say is it's unbelievable um this engine is being used to develop new games like the avatar frontiers of pandora That's that engine incredible how immaculate how how they use the visuals on that bro I can't my mind blown by what they can do with Splinter Cell literally it's gonna be on what we can imagine uh, moving forward they are also making the new uh, Star Wars game on that unfortunately we don't have any gameplay of that not as yet but uh, from if that's any like test to anything that's gonna come like that's phenomenal like I can't imagine what they're gonna do with the storyline and like the lightsabers in Star Wars like literally space is gonna yeah I'm gonna feel like I'm actually in space like that's just incredible the team was then asked what the you know what basically who's joining the team to make this game happen to make this game possible you know are there gonna be vets returning from you know previous Splinter Cell games you know to help you know create this project uh, and you know with pretty much you know a new title and COVID still being a thing Ubisoft Toronto is actually looking for anyone wanting to be a part of this project and you know help it make this iconic game come to life uh, so that we can relive our inner ninja spec ops uh, you know that childhood fantasy we have um, so yeah and as well they're still doing a lot uh, they do have a lot of vets on the team uh, it's not to mention but I wonder if they're gonna bring back Michael Ironside, uh, he actually originated uh, the Splinter Cell. He voiced Splinter Cell back in 2002. So you know, and then they did bring Eric Johnson, who you know was Sam Fisher in the Blacklist series that 
Ubisoft Toronto created. Um, but I don't know if they're even going to implement Sam into this. But if they do, that'd be really cool. Uh, but it sounds like they're going to, you know, they might come up with a new, whole new character. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, and as we finally approach the, the ending of the article uh, up here, uh, basically they were telling, they were asking, you know, what uh, is the most important for readers to take away from this announcement. And pretty much uh, my favorite statement that I got from the article, and it's a, it's the most reassuring statement, is from Matt uh, West. And it's basically saying the game earned its stripes the right way by innovating and challenging a really difficult experience that was in the marketplace at the time. Respect the goggles helps me helps to remind us the fact that we can do it justice. He also went to say that we're going to straggle the line between spirit of the old and the comfort of the new so that we can excite and surprise new players, but also make sure that when our returning players pick up the controller, they get that sign of, ah, uh, they got it. With all this being said, I can truly say that this is a remake is definitely in good hands, um, but not even that it's being taken into consideration the core elements and features that made the game what it is now. I can't wait to see what we find out in the future and what implementations are going to be taking place. But until then, make sure to subscribe and like the video. Comment what's your most favorite part or what you want to see in the new Splinter Cell. Um, yeah, and if you want to check out my Splinter Cell playlist, I highly encourage you to do that. Uh, soon we'll be, you know, embarking on a journey. Uh, actually, my first time experiencing Splinter Cell Pandora tomorrow. I never actually played it. Um, so it's definitely going to be a first for, for me and hopefully for some of you guys that are watching. But uh, yeah, until then, it's been your boy Julio. I'm out.